Okay, as promised, I'm going to give you a full shot of the whole table. Here's the control stand and uh, the captain's chair. Now, I built my own vacuum system, and I used the uh, Valterra gate valves like they use in uh, RVs for the sewer dump. I have a vacuum gauge in right here. I have five different zones that I built into my vacuum system that I can turn on and off, and the zones are built around the products that, that I manufacture to make it easy for me to use. Uh, my vacuum system is turned on. I mounted a I mounted a little switch cabinet right here um, that turns on my vacuum system. So if I turn this on, I got two motors and they're both independent. I can turn either one, motor one, motor two. Okay, so right now you can see I'm not pulling very much vacuum because a minute ago I had a uh, piece of plastic over the section of the vacuum zone that I'm not using and when I cleaned the table up I took it off. So right now all the vacuum's leaking through this section because I don't have a piece of plastic on it. But I could turn off that back section and pick up that vacuum. And now you can see I got what I, sh what I show is five inches and that's what I need to hold down. Now that's just with one motor. I can run the second motor, but what I found is if I run both motors and I don't get enough leakage, so both motors would run like right at eight or nine inches of vacuum and if I pull that much I'll burn the motors up. Ask me how I know I burnt a motor up. So. Here's, my, here's one of the fixtures that I use for drilling the edge of parts. It's just simply bolted on and I have stops on it so that I always have it in tram. I don't have to tram it in each time I put it on the table. Um, the, you can see this extrusion table that I bought and installed myself. It's mounted to a piece of, I believe it's 3 8 inch, 3 8 or half inch plate, 6061 T6 plate that I bought. And you can see how the vacuum, or the uh, vacuum's in that section, and then the clamping goes around it. Now, these blue pieces are a fixture that I use for a um, rail system that I sail. And so this allows me to drill those rails by clamping them down to this fixture. As you can see, I got a 10 place tool changer. And. Uh, I need to do a better job with my vacuum collection. I modified the original shoe because it didn't do what I needed to do very well. This one doesn't do a much better, but a little bit better. Um, I got another design I'm getting ready to, to make using a five inch hose rather than four inch. That's kind of the tour of the table. Um, anyway, if you have any questions, let me know.